no. And in today's episode, we're making s'mores pizza. S'mores pizza. Don't forget to click on the like button below, subscribe, make a comment, share with your friends, and hit that bell notification button. Okay? So, we're making s'mores pizza today. This is a very typical, uh, popular dish that you can find on YouTube, and pretty much it's pretty much done, been done already like a million different ways. However, our way is going to be guaranteed to be the best way. And let me tell you why. The reason being is because our s'mores pizza, we're actually making the dough from scratch. You might find some videos out there where it shows you how to make the s'mores pizza, but they're really just using a pie crust, a graham cracker pie crust, and calling it a pizza. We know if it doesn't have dough, it's not a... Dough. It's not a pizza, right? Pizza. Right? It's not a pizza. You can't, you can't have pizza without pizza dough, am I right? Yeah. All right. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the dough recipe from scratch, incorporating the uh, graham crackers here and a few other ingredients as well. All right. So, what you want to start off with here, okay, is uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our graham crackers here, and we have about 100 grams, okay? So, we're making two dough balls, all right, and... Uh, we're going to be making one s'mores pizza. We're going to be putting in this nine and a half inch cake pan, okay? And then the other dough ball, we're just going to, uh, you can either make two s'more pizzas, but in this case, we're just going to freeze our other one, okay? So, Emma, can you just put these uh, graham crackers inside the uh, Ziploc bag there? Because we need to get those down, um, grind it down, basically. This is a simple way of doing it, okay? There you go. All right, so uh, while I'm just putting those in the bags there, so we have 100 uh, grams of uh, graham crackers here. We have 210 grams of all-purpose flour. All right, and then we set aside some graham uh, cracker uh, chunks here. We're going to be using those later. You have a container of uh, hazelnut spread. In this case, we're using Nutella. And then we have some uh, honey there as well. Uh, we have nutmeg. We have about uh, 8 grams of salt and we have about half a teaspoon of instant dry yeast. All right, and also we have 185 grams of water as well. So, just like we would if we were making a pizza dough, um, we're gonna be making a 60% hydration dough, okay? All right, so Emma, all you need to do here basically is just push it down and start rolling it, okay? There you go. Put some muscle into it, and I'll hold the back to you there just in case. All right, all right. Oh, a little technique there. 210 grams of all-purpose flour. Emma, if you can just put that inside there for me. Perfect. And then Emma, what I'd like you to do, there you go, good. So that's the last, little last bit. And uh, what I'd like you to do here is uh, just get the graham, uh, graham cracker flour. What I'm gonna do here is uh, set aside some of the graham uh, cracker bits there, the flour, because we're gonna use that afterwards. Okay. So, we got the flour in there, and we have the uh, graham crackers, okay? Um, then you like to add your yeast here, okay? And uh, you want to do the honors over? That's half a teaspoon of instant dry yeast that goes inside there. All right, so we're just going to add a little bit of nutmeg inside there. Don't tell anybody about this, but this is the secret, uh, secret ingredient. All right. So we're going to get 185 grams of uh, room temperature water, and we're going to put that inside there. And there we go. Put it in the stand mixture. I'm just, we're just going to give it a, just a little bit of a stir, just give it a head start, okay? There we go. All right. There you go. That's good. Another screw here. Just scrape that off. salt. It's eight grams of sea salt. Put that inside there like that. Now we're going to take this to the stand mixer. Okay. Go. Okay, let's start this off at a slow speed, including uh, incorporating all the uh, dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. All right, and we're just going to leave this here for about um, five minutes or so. And once everything's incorporated, we're going to bring it onto our working board and uh, knead the rest by hand. 
this here for about um, five minutes or so. And once everything's incorporated, we're gonna bring it onto our working board and uh, knead the rest by hand. Just gonna knead it just a little bit by hand. Okay, just like that. Six or seven times. Okay, so there we go. Alright, and we're just gonna cover that with the cling wrap. Okay. And we're just gonna let that uh, do a ball rest there for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Alright, so we've let our dough rise there. Uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I've uh, pre-dusted the uh, the weight scale here. Okay, so we're going to divide our dough in half here. So I'm going to do that there. Okay, so we have about 510 grams. So we're going to do uh, divide in uh, about 250, 255 grams. Okay, and I'm going to put that dough right in the middle right there. And then basically what we're going to do is just going to start stretching it out. Okay, so I'm out to see how I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you start from the center. Mm -hmm. And you go out, okay? okay? And you're always pushing out, just like that, nice and gentle, okay? okay. Until you basically you make, keep on making a bigger circle, okay? So while Emma's doing that, let me just dust some flour on there so it doesn't, doesn't get too sticky. There you go. So while Emma's doing that, okay, we're going to preheat our oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, Emma, I did a pretty good job there stretching out the dough. Okay, so I'm just going to get a fork and I'm going to sort of create a, almost like you do when you're doing a pie crust, mm -hmm. this side there, that's going to create sort of like a, a little reservoir for our Nutella so it doesn't drip outside the pan, okay? Just like that. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's a little technique that I use. Okay, and then here, um, all you're going to do is uh, just put some holes at the bottom here. So it doesn't rise too quickly. I still do want a little bit of puff out of this dough, but not too, too much. Okay. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take some honey with our brush here. And we're just going to ever so gently get it on top of there. Okay. Do you want to try it? Mm -hmm. Just put a little bit of honey there. Okay, not too much. It's almost like when you're painting, right? And then just wipe it down a little bit, so a few strokes. That's good, okay? And there, perfect, okay? So I'm just gonna go along the crust as well. Right, okay, so the side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our little bit of, uh, let me just stretch that a little bit more. You know the uh, the graham crackers that we had here all pumped up. All I want you to do is just add a little bit of pop up there. Yeah. Not too much. Good job. There we go. And we're gonna put some honey on there afterwards as well. Perfect. That's good. Okay. Good. So we're gonna put that into the oven and we're gonna put it right on the bottom rack. Uh, the reason why I use a cake pan is because a non stick cake pan because it's easy for the dough to come up. So, you take the dough up just like that. There we go. And we're going to set the pan aside because we st we're still going to do that. And then from here, basically, is I'm going to switch the element to uh, broil and put it at the max temperature at 525 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's going to start there. Okay. So, uh, we're just going to let it cool down for a minute or so. Alright, just like that. And don't worry, uh, the Nutella, even if it melts just a little bit on top, it's perfectly fine. Okay? So I'm going to take some Nutella like that and be generous here, don't worry. Put that like that. Put the bubbles out of there. Do you want to spread it around now? Okay, I'll take the spoon from you there. All right. And 
I'm going to place that back inside there, just like that. And now what we're going to do is uh, you cut uh, about 115 grams and my, uh, my broil uh, option there is ready. So what we did was we uh, got 115 grams of marshmallows. Now I used the regular size marshmallows and I just cut them in half. Okay, so we got that there. Next thing we're going to do, this is a good step. You can put the rest of the marshmallows there or you can eat them for after Emma. Okay, so what you do here is basically just any, anywhere you see like a, an open spot is where you put the graham crackers inside. Okay, do you want to help me out or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's yeah, so like over here, so it can be in between, have a nice little garnish. Makes it look, makes it look a little bit more fancy. And then the uh, the chocolate helps uh, keep the uh, the graham crackers in place as well, just like that. Mm. Delicious. Okay, there we go, and let's put that on top like that. Now we're going to put this back into the oven, and we're just going to keep an eye on it because it will cook fast, okay, so I suggest doing it in about uh, 30 second intervals. I'm going to put that right onto the top rack, okay, so make sure that your top rack is close to the actual, um, the top burner there, okay, close that up. And we'll do this in 30 second intervals, starting now. Okay. So let's uh, have a nice spatula here. We'll just use a just get right underneath there. Make sure to put that on the top of there. The marshmallow stuff there. That's fine. That works. Okay. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of drizzle on top of that. Generous, don't worry. Let's just melt it up some Nutella here and just add a little bit on top. I don't know if there's a better technique of doing this, but this is the way I do it. Mm. How's that look, Emma? Good. Look at that, doesn't look great. Mm. There we go. And our s'mores pizza. Is ready. Buon appetito, guys. We're gonna cut this up, let it cool down just for a little bit, and then we're gonna cut up and we're gonna give it a try. Guys, I want to show you a great product that I purchased on Amazon.ca. This is a Chef Toast uh, pizza rocker. It was only $24.99 on Amazon.ca. It is an absolutely wonderful pizza rocker. Uh, it's ergonomic, it's great, it's light, and it does the job in one cut right there. Amazing product. So check it out, Amazon.ca, $24.99. All right, so we got the uh, pizza cut up here. Get a slice there. Actually, I'm going to split this up for the kids here. I uh, don't want them eating too late. Woohoo! That's okay. There and there. Go ahead, guys, take a bite of the pizza. Guys, let me know how it is. It's good. It's good. It's good. For me? High five? Sweet. High five? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You want the campfire in the house? There it is right there, guys. This is Clark. You guys, I don't know if you guys ever met him on camera, but Clark, how is that? He's speechless. He absolutely loves it. He's a little camera shy, but he wanted to try the uh, s'mores pizza today. Emma, how do you like it? Good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and um, watch all our videos because we got a lot of great recipes.